to transport the world's largest telescopic mirror to the peak of the mountain, experts and engineers need to do something that was never done by anyone, viewers. We all have seen transportation of medium and small things, from big cargo ships loaded with containers to the world's biggest cargo ship. That can easily transport heavy materials, but there are a few things, which are not very heavy but have magnanimous size. That neither it can be carried on a plane nor on a cargo ship, and the biggest challenge is to transport them in one piece. Today, you will get to know about four world's largest objects, which required months of planning before their transportation. Let's get started. For research and experiment, a lab in Chicago needed world's largest and most powerful magnet. The magnet said to have a width of 50 feet and a weight of 17,000 kilograms. Although another lab successfully built that magnet, but that was the easy part, the difficult part was its transportation. The challenge was to transport world's biggest magnet from Long Island, New York to this Chicago-based lab. The total distance was 1,350 kilometers. Normally it takes 14 hours to cover this distance with a car, but, when it comes to the world's biggest magnet, things are not that simple, as these routes not only have heavy traffic, but there are also two bridges en route, whose width is only 15 feet, obviously a 50 feet wide object cannot pass through that bridge. It could have been transported through an aircraft, world's biggest cargo plane, Antonov AN-225 Maria, whose length is quite large, but its cargo section's width is less than 50 feet, therefore, it was not possible to transport it through an aircraft, it requires a master plan to transport this giant magnet to its owner and a single company was not sufficient enough to handle this, therefore, a lot of companies like FedEx, UPS were included in this challenge, who spent several years planning the transport of this magnet, the build of this magnet was so sensitive that, a little shock could damage it, and that was the reason that, at first, a steel frame was made, so that during the transport, all the shock can be absorbed by this steel frame, after the completion of planning, of all the transport companies and law agencies involved in this mission. The mission was initiated on the 22nd of June, 2013, along with the steel frame. This 62-ton magnet was loaded onto a trolley, which was specially hired for this purpose, and very slowly it was transported near the seaport, from there it was placed onto a flat cargo ship with the help of a heavy-duty crane. And from there, after traveling one month in the sea, it reached Mobile, Alabama crossing Florida and the Gulf of Mexico. From there it reaches Lemon Port in Chicago via Mobile River and Mississippi River, but its journey was not over yet. From there a crane placed the giant magnet onto a trolley and it headed towards the lab, which had purchased it, Femi Lab. The owner of this giant magnet were 50 kilometers away which would normally takes 40 minutes to reach. Traffic had to be halted to let this giant magnet pass freely, and with a snail speed, this convoy reached Femi Labs after three days. This total operation took 35 days, and it covered a distance of 5,000 kilometers. Amazingly this journey cost $3 million to the owner, after the magnet. Let us know the story of the transport of world's largest telescope mirrors. It wasn't easy to transport world's largest telescopic mirrors built in University of Arizona to the peak of the Monte Cristo. One mirror weighs 16 ton, the task was to carry two such mirrors to a distance of 200 kilometers. To transport these fragile mirrors, a team of astronomers, engineers, police officers and heavy transport experts was formed, who spend a whole five months in the planning of this operation, this 16-ton mirror was enclosed inside a 33-ton case, and with great care, it was loaded onto a 48-wheeler, with the help of police. Traffic had to be halted to let this convoy pass freely. The most difficult part of this journey was the 50 kilometers long mountainous road, where the mirrors needed to be kept upright all the time. For that a hydraulic system was previously installed in the 48-wheeler, which kept the mirror upright while ascending. After flying 110 million kilometers in the space for 20 years, this American shuttle made its last journey for a museum in Los Angeles. After retiring from NASA's space shuttle program, this shuttle was carried onto the back of a Boeing 7 for 7 to the Los Angeles airport, which was arranged especially for this purpose. 
The journey from the airport to the museum was already planned, cutting 400 trees and shutting down dozens of power lines. This 78-ton shuttle was carried through the road of Los Angeles after completing 20 kilometers in two days. The shuttle finally reached California Science Museum. This is the world's biggest mining machine, which is known by the name Bagger 288. This machine is used in coal mines and open pit mines, whose height is 330 feet and width is larger than two football field. This excavator is so large that five drivers operate this at a time. This excavator completed its work on a site in 2001, and now it was time to transport it to another mining site 22 kilometers away. According to engineers it's quite easy to transport it, because before transport it is disassembled. And at new site it is again assembled, but this time the situation was quite different. It took 7.5 months to cover just 22 kilometers, because this time it not only had to cross the river, but it had to cross the highway and railway track too. To cross the river, special ships were arranged, and in many places land had to be leveled. To transport this excavator a total of 7 million feet cubed of soil was leveled, and in many places grass had to be laid on the soil, so that, this excavator could easily pass over it. Traveling 33 feet per meters, the excavator ultimately reached its new location. To cover just 22 kilometers company had to spend 9 million dollars. I hope you got some information from this video, thanks for watching.